everyone and welcome to Global Gab. This is the show where we gab with you about things happening globally in the world. I'm your host, Katerina Kazayas, here with this week's top trending international news. First up, horrific blasts in the city of Brussels. 31 people dead there, over 330 people injured in three simultaneous blasts that rocked that city, explosions at the airport and the metro station. Now, ISIS has claimed responsibility for this one, again, but I just want to put this in perspective for our American viewers for just a moment. Basically, what this means is Brussels is considered by many to be the de facto capital of Europe. What I mean by that is it's the city that houses a lot of the European Union institutions. Basically, this is like saying ISIS was successful in getting into Washington, in blasting Washington. This is what this means for Europeans. Needless to say, Europeans are feeling very nervous. People around the world are feeling very nervous, especially travelers, as we head into this holiday weekend. Speaking of travelers, Obama was in Cuba this week in what was considered by many a very historic visit because he was the first president in almost 100 years to visit that country. Last time was in 1928. This was looked at as a very as a very as a very big step towards normalizing relations between these two countries. Oh, good to hear. And finally, March 25th marked Greek Independence Day. That's where Greeks in Greece and around the world, myself included, we're celebrating. Why do you care? Well, in 1821, the Greeks were successful in finally overthrowing 400 years of Ottoman rule, 400 years of Turkish occupation. Uh, what this means is they rallied, they moved away from the uh, Turkish rule, and it's left Greece to be the free, independent, and safe country that it is today, allowing us to go visit without being fearful. These were the headlines that were trending internationally this week, the week of March 21st. I'm your host, Katerina Kazayas, here for Global Gab.